similar to what has happened in Salesforce automation over the last uh, five to eight years, where you've seen Salesforce.com obviously become much dominant player in offering SaaS-based solution on managing effectively Salesforce lifecycle, right? From ma capturing leads, opportunities, and then working that through the pipeline, being able to integrate that with upstream marketing, campaign management, and so on. The sales performance management area has also started to come to age with respect to starting to leverage SaaS or cloud platform for enablement. So you have seen emergence of companies like Exactly, which is built around a pure cloud-based solution for sales performance management. You've seen a, a, an earlier version of a company called Calidus uh, uh, worked very he heavily with high-tech clients, now make an offer uh, of their incentive platform on cloud. And then you've seen similar things happen along with uh, the larger players like Oracle and so on starting to add those capabilities. And with this trend, what you're going to see is, uh, you know, to some extent, there's probably some level of uh, harmony between Salesforce automation solution and the sales performance management. But there's also certain types of business decisions that the enterprise needs to make as they undertake this journey. And there are really three considerations. So you think about uh, sort of the intersection between sales performance management and Salesforce automation. So you take comp plan and you know compensation um, sort of goal sheets and all of that. You could say, well, they are heavily skewed in sales performance management. But when you think about things like territory management, which is required to manage within SFA the hierarchy roll-ups, being able to view the forecasting, and then as sales compensation, it's the first step in assigning sales credits and thereby arriving at sales commissions. So you got to start thinking about how you're going to evolve your territory management capability and which path you're going to take between the sales performance management and SFA. Another area of consideration is sort of this idea of giving visibility to your field but not having to create disjointed experience where you have SFA, which is their primary place where they go to look up their opportunities, track their contacts, leads, what have you, but then you're going to ask them to go to another platform to look up their compensation as calculated based on attainment. So how do you create that single experience while still be able to leverage best of the solutions as these two areas emerge in the SaaS space? And then the last but not least, how do you govern your master data? And master data as it relates to your customer master data, which is primarily the foundation for anything around accounts, accounts group, account segmentations. Similarly, hierarchy data. You know, you have a lot of hierarchy data around sales hierarchy, product hierarchy, obviously customer hierarchy. So all of this master data and governance of that and then being able to enable these SaaS platforms to uptake that and be able to reflect the same results that you would like.